Hi everyone. So I recorded a video, or I thought I recorded a video of me making, combining the Shelly Carruthers Pouring Medium and Cell Activators with Evox Arts Spiral Technique. And as soon as I got the pillow down, it stopped recording. I actually paused it and then I started it again and I guess I'd never hit record. <laughs> so I asked if you wanted me to if, record that so you could see how it was done. And I got a few people ask, so I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay down my pillow paint, but pretty thin. I don't want a bunch. Just enough to cover it up. And I'm gonna take that and spin it a little bit, get it started towards going out. And then I'll just use my hand, I think, to just kind of spread it out over the edges. So I don't want nearly as thick, like normally, I put a pretty thick pillow down because you're stretching and stretching and stretching. You're not really stretching with this one. In fact, I don't want a lot in the middle, so I don't know why I went through the exercise of spinning that at all, because I've just gone through it with my whole fingers. And now what I might do is just spin it a little to kind of even it a little, maybe. It doesn't matter if there's little ridges or anything in it because I'm going to go over it. So you'll see. I got some of my purple in there. I think I'll do this one in blues and greens. Maybe a tiny bit of purple. So maybe I'll put just a little bit of this purple matter down. So basically, I just have some leftover paint from a peacock pour I did. And I was thinking I was going to have to do some tables for someone and I ended up not doing them. So I have all this paint left over and I thought, let's try and use it up. That was a purple matter mixed. There's a lot of, a lot of these colors have color art, beautiful color art pigments mixed in. So basically I'm just gonna lay down some blues. I don't want a whole lot of paint, you'll see. Although I'm getting kind of a lot, aren't I? Uh, let's just get this down there. A little bit of deep rich. I'll leave my navy blue out. Because I really want to get my greens in there now. Okay. So I'm just kind of laying a... As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason. Because I'm just going to combine them all together. A little bit of this nice rich phthalo green. Phthalo green, like purples, I think can kind of take over. So I'm just going to put a little bit down. And then I want a nice bright color on top. Okay. So whatever colors you want to use, Lay them down every which way. And then I'm going to take this beautiful little notched tool. I'm going to start in the middle. And I'm just going to kind of slap these together and outward. And you don't want too much in the middle because you don't want it to um, contort too much. I think I did a pretty good job there in the middle. So I might just get that over the edges a little bit. Okay. Now, oops, I dripped in my cell activator. So now I'm going to do basically a dustpan for, with the cell activator. So I have this little scoop a little candy scoop it's flat on the bottom and wide and it's not too big if I was going to do a really big canvas I could get a bigger one but so I'm going to lay down inside of this little tool here let me just open up all this is all leftover cell activator <clears throat> and I'm going to lay down some black white and gold in this little scoop Okay, just making sure it's recording. 
I don't want to do it right over top of my pour white gold I didn't want to put the black and white right next to each other and black okay so those are all cell activators now hopefully I'm successful with this as I was last time the turntable really helps because what I'm going to do basically is get this headed towards the outside there and just lay it down and start And you can see the last one I had the black on the bottom and then the gold and then the white on the top. This one I put the white on the bottom and then the gold and the black on the top. So whatever colors on the top is going to come out the most and you have a little bit of underlying of that other. So there's my cell activator. Then I take this little, this is actually a clay sculpting tool or maybe you can get the nail dotting tools or whatever tool you wanted to get and just choose whatever size you want. I went with a fairly small one and I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to kind of stand up here and let's see. It looks like it's going this way so I want to keep the motion of this so it looks like this is going this way so I'm going to continue on with this and I'm just going to kind of Grab the edge of the cell activator and make little swirls. I don't really want to wreck up my cells that I created, so I'm just barely grabbing the outside of that. And I'm just following along the edge here. Until it seems to stop. Then what I did with the last one is I came back and went in the opposite direction. So I started out here and went this way. But I don't think I want to do that this time. I think I want to leave a little bit of those stripes in there. So, last time, I would have then just started where I left off here, and where I have the ridges coming back, I'd go on the opposite side. Like So, I would probably start right here and go this way um, on the inside here and trace that all the way around until I got to the inside there. Um, that's what I did last time with the first one. But this one I think I'll leave like that. I think it looks nice. I really think these are quite beautiful and will make a beautiful clock. So I just combined, if you go to YouTube and look up Vox Arts, she's the one who came up with this really cool spiral technique. It's pretty easy. But then also it's the Shelly Carruthers pouring media mixed with colors. Those are the colors that I used on top of a very thin pillow. And then her cell activator. You could just do it with one. I chose three colors because now I've got a little bit of gold lacing out here as well as black. So that was kind of fun having the different colored lacing. Um, whatever color's on the bottom, not going to show up quite as much as the one that's on the top. Um, but it looks pretty cool. I'll bring you down for some close ups. Um, so. Here's the very center. Not as much lacing in the center, but it's very pretty. And as you go out from it, the lacing starts. And that's pretty cool. And I don't know if that's just because in the beginning, I'm trying not to lay down and pour out so much so I don't get too much paint in the middle, so I'm not laying the scoop down. But definitely I think that laying that scoop on it is creating, instead of the, you know, it's kind of like a swipe with the scoop. So it's pretty cool. 
here she is. Uh, you know what I'm going to do for you just because, oh, I took my gloves off. I guess I'm not. <laughs> this is the outside. I was going to put it up on cups for you so you could really see. But I think it looks pretty neat. What a nice combination of techniques between the Shelley Carruthers Pouring Medium and Cell Activator, Vox Art's beautiful spiral technique. Just choose some colors and go to town. So I hope that you liked this. This was a fun little experiment I've been thinking about. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, have fun painting, everyone. Bye.